Hi guys, welcome back to Lucas 3D Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how to scan multiple objects for 3D printing using the Creality Ferret Pro 3D Scanner. So let's get right into it. The Creality Scan Ferret Pro 3D Scanner comes with a nice zipper case. In the case, you'll find an instruction booklet, a phone holder, a small tripod, an adapter, a battery grip, the scanner itself, a wireless bridge, some cables, and a few sheets of sticker markers. With the wireless bridge, you can wirelessly connect the scanner to your phone so you're not bound to a computer or your work desk. The Pro version supports iPhone 11 and above and also more Android phones compared to its light version. So let's use the scanner to scan this Winnie the Pooh knitted toy. Ideally, you want to get a turntable, but I recommend just getting a cheap Lazy Susan like this since you can freely control its speed and movement. Then I'm just gonna place the toy on this board and make sure that it is steady. Connecting the scanner to your phone is really easy. Of course, you'll need to download the Creality Scan app first. Then just place your phone inside the phone holder, turn on the scanner and wait until the lights to turn blue. Then go to your phone's Wi-Fi setting and connect it to your scanner. You want to have the object that you're scanning in the middle of that frame. Tap the play button to start scanning and while scanning you want to move your scanner up and down slowly while rotating it. Once you've completed a rotation, tap pause and try to scan the object in different positions then repeat the whole process. Next, let's turn our scan into a 3D model. If you're going to 3D print the model, you want to make sure that the options Hole Filling and Closure are turned on, then tap Next. It will take around 5 to 10 minutes for it to process, depending on how many frames did you capture with the scanner. Now let's transfer this file to our computer. Let's install Creality Scan on the computer, then select Import from Phone. It will generate a QR code for you to scan with your phone. Then on your phone, tap this symbol, select export to computer and scan the QR code and it will transfer the 3D file on your phone to the computer. Just make sure that your phone is connected to the same network as your computer, which means that you'll need to change the Wi-Fi connection to your phone to the previous one. Let's clean this up by clicking this mesh button. Click the lasso tool and while holding shift key, select this with your mouse and hit delete. Export that as STL and open it in your favorite slicer. If your 3D printer supports multicolor printing, you can paint the model and print it in colors. That looks super cute and tell me in the comments below if you would buy the original one or the 3D printed one. This pillow stand 3D prints for phones or controllers are super popular so let's make our own. I made this bag which I filled with sand and I'm gonna make it a stand for my PS4 controller. Then let's grab our controller and sort of make an indentation of it on the back. Now I'm gonna show you how you can scan an object if you don't want to use your phone. For that, let's unmount the scanner and screw it on the tripod so you can use it as a handle. Then grab this cable and connect it to the scanner and then to your computer. Open Creality Scan and wait until it recognizes the scanner and click New Project. Then just like previously, click Play to start the scan. Move the scanner up and down slowly while rotating the Lazy Susan. Of course, you want to make sure that the model is always in the middle of the frame and the focal length indicator to be anywhere between optimal and good. What you always want to aim is the green color of the scan in the preview window. Once that's done, click the stop button and do some cleanup. 
In the mesh setting, make sure to check both hole filling and closure options and click the mesh button. Export that as STL and let's print it. Another useful thing you can do with the scanner is to 3D print a mold of an object or a tray for it. I'm gonna scan this camera and make a tray for it. But before that, let's talk about our sponsor for today's video, PCBWay. If you have a 3D printer that can't print specific materials, or has a small print volume, or if you don't have a 3D printer at all, you can get PCBWay to print it for you. PCBWay offers 3D printing services and you can get them to print in any material like resin, nylon, TPU, PC, ASA, or even metal like titanium. Just upload your model to PCBWay, specify the quantity, choose your materials and so on, and hit submit request to get your quote. PCBWay doesn't just do 3D printing, they also offer other services like all kinds of PCB services, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and so much more. So make sure to check them out and visit PCBWay.com to learn more. Now let's go ahead and scan the camera. Then let's export that as STL and we're gonna use Blender to make it straight. Open Blender, delete that cube, and import the STL. I'm gonna add a displacer modifier to thicken or offset the model slightly so the tray will have a bit of a clearance. Reduce mid level to zero and increase the strength a little bit. Then let's add a cube and scale and resize that so it covers the bottom of the camera. Then click on the tray and add a boolean cut modifier. Make sure it's set to difference the solver is set to fast, and for the object, choose the camera. Now if you hide the camera, our tray is now cut and has a recess in the shape of the camera. Then let's export this SDL and print it. This is a great way to use your scanner to make 3D models of your tools, especially if you have tools with complicated shapes that aren't easy to model in CAD softwares. Then you can use the models to make trays, which you can then 3D print. It's great for organizing your stuff. Another way to utilize the scanner is to 3D scan your head or your face and use the model to design a helmet or a mask that perfectly fits your head or your face. If you already have a finished design, let's say this Mandalorian helmet here, you can rescale it to fit your head size. Or you can just print a mini version of yourself, why not? Keep in mind that even though the scanner can scan objects with a lot of details, really well. It does has its limitations, especially when it comes to scanning objects with flat surfaces or objects which don't have rich geometric features. I tried to scan the PS5 plate a couple of times and it failed. I hung the model, I tried to lay it flat on a surface, I even tried to use the sticker markers but I couldn't get it to work. So all in all, the CR Scan Ferret Pro is a good enough scanner if you're looking for a scanner to scan an object which you can then 3D print and are not worried about precision. It isn't the most affordable additional gadget for your 3D printing hobby since 3D scanners in general are not cheap, but it is surely more affordable than prosumer 3D scanners out there which can go up to thousands of dollars. If you don't care about wireless connectivity, you can get the light version for a lower price. I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can check it out if you're interested to get one. So I hope this video is helpful to you guys and I appreciate it if you could leave a like and drop a comment in my video to help the channel out. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.